Hello, uh, what you're looking at is the uh, portal drain, fill, and inspection holes on my uh, Unimog 404. Uh, this is on the, happens to be on the rear of the vehicle on the passenger side. But uh, I paint these things so you can, you know, they show up easy, but uh, your drain plug is pretty obvious. It's the low one. But the other two, there's some confusion out there. I read different things and people get kind of mixed up on the matter, but uh, depending on which end of the vehicle, uh, this can be either the, the fill or the inspection hole, but in this case, the inspection hole is the lower of the two, which would be this one, uh, because the vehicle, or the axle rather, is, is biased uh, upward to point toward the uh, transmission, so depending on which end of the vehicle you're on, uh, this pattern changes, but Anyway, the low one obviously is a drain hole, but what you want to do is take out all the holes, you know, all the plugs, and you've got the one that's slightly lower. That's the one you want the, the fluid to be up to that point, right up to the top of uh, the bottom of that hole there, right at the edge. So you uh, start putting your oil in there, and when it starts to come out there, uh, quickly put the plug in and stop putting it in because you want to leave room for expansion. There's only uh, three-tenths of one liter of oil in there uh, and that brings us to uh, this bottle it has a scale on the bottom of it or on the side of it rather where you can read how much oil comes out and it's just an old uh, empty bottle of uh, gear oil synthetic gear oil little funnel and you you can catch most of it uh, there's going to be a little bit get away but pretty much you're going to see that you had about what you should have had in there that way you verify that you know, uh, you had enough, or pretty close to enough, and uh, or hopefully, and <laughs> yeah, leak should be obvious, but it's just a, another way of just taking a, another look at what you had before you just toss it aside. You can measure what came out of there, uh, but it should be uh, pretty close to three tenths of a uh, a liter, which is pretty close to three quart, three tenths of a quart. Uh, anyway, um, going down the road at a blistering speed of forty miles an hour or something like that on a hot day, these things get rather warm and uh, the oil needs room to expand so you don't want to fill it all the way up to the very top uh, of the uh, fill hole you just want to fill it to the inspection hole and that gives it a little bit of room to to expand and uh, and not force its way through a gasket or whatever um, anyway and you want to do this often I mean you can do all four corners for about twenty dollars worth of synthetic you know premium mobile one oil which is you know Pretty good stuff. Uh, one of the better oils. That's what I like to use on all my stuff. And uh, you know, do it annually and, and check it even more often than that. These things are susceptible to getting water in them. Uh, they leak or uh, they can leak. Uh, you're going through mud, sand, God knows what, and uh, everything depends on that little gearbox uh, keeping you going. So you don't want to let four or five dollars of the oil screw up a you know a nice heavy duty truck. So. Anyway, that's my two cents on that, and uh, hopefully this helps you out. Uh, I had to uh, figure it out myself, so I figured I'd make this video. Have a good day.